All right, what we want to do, good job, Matt, good job, Murph, Terrence, good job, Earl, Lawrence, good job on the sell signal. What we do, if we break through low value area on developing profile on the J signal chart, we look for the first Fibonacci retracement and look for negative market profile. We got it. It was a break. There's your retest. Nice little trade. 28 all the way down to 06 on the last setup in the last 10 minutes. Nice, easy trade. Break, negative market profile all the way down. The beautiful thing is we had a sell signal this morning just after 8 o'clock. Look at your trend filter. It is flat to down. What do you want to sell? Sell high value area. Two times stacked area. There it is. Negative market delta called the high. 44.78 fill. All the way down to 44. Just above 44.05. Over $800 trade potential after 8 o'clock, and it's now just 8.20 pre-news. $800 trade potential. Max risk on that was $130. Bucks, two ticks above the swing high. This was $120. Bucks. Maximum risk, two ticks above the swing high. And we nailed this one also based upon when you break developing profile, look for the first retracement. There is your move. Remember, on non-farm <clears throat> non payrolls, the first Friday of every single month is a big economic event. We are typically done, guys and gals, by 9.15 today. Should be done with all your trading by around 9.15 this morning. Enough movement. If you're a crew trader and you've got the $800 move potential or the last move here, you can shut it down, go about your day. Remember, two to three days out of the week, if you start trading before... I mean, at 7.30 to 7.45, you're typically done by 9 a.m. in the morning. It only takes about an hour and a half of trading per day, an average of three days a week, and you're typically got enough ticks by 9 a.m. in the morning. That's why you, we trade futures. We don't trade stocks in this room, per se. It does work on stocks if you want to work on stocks, but we're typically done before 9 a.m., so if you if you did take the uh, the trade, good job. We are looking for a retest. Remember yesterday, if you recall yesterday, yesterday I said break retest of 50. When it was down here at 25, stopped at the exact tick. That was a thousand dollar trade right here, potential. All the way down, stopped to the exact tick of my projection. That's because it got rejected there, right at 50. Then it broke, retested my long-term SIM value. The SIM value is here. I'm going to mark them up for you after the news comes out so you can see them. If you get any retracements up to 75, 88, it could be a big re retest short. Watch it. Now what we're working on, pre-news, we got around, around three to four minutes of trading still before you want to get flat. We got another retest possible short coming up. And then let news post. Wait, wait around 15, 20 seconds. And let's try to get another value playoff value. If you look on gold over here, we do have we do have the values at 130570 and 19, uh, 1293 and a half. Watch it, watch that. You do got a potential sell signal right now on gold popping up on a corrective wave. It just bounced hard, though. Look at this buy signal off the control point. You got to watch this blue solid line. That's a control. Most volume has been traded in the morning. It just bounced off of it to the exact tick. The exact tick. I got a positive market delta at 59. Anything over 50 on gold is a great trade. There is your fill. Your fill is 1301.20, got as high as 1303.20 pre news, up $200 per one contract just in the last five minutes. You gotta buy control if the market's in an uptrend. Remember these solid lines, you got control, the control point is the most volume that's been traded. 
Great little place to take a trade. Just like yesterday, my 50 level stopped at the exact tick on crude. So over a thousand dollar trade potential with the maximum risk. On all trades below 150 bucks. If I go over, Gerald, I'll go back to crude oil. If I go to S&P 500, just got a big sell signal on the S&P 500 off my long-term sim value. It's like clockwork, guys. Crazy. 20, 85, 50 was a sell. It's all the way down to 20, 82. We don't trade for half point, three quarter of our points on the S&P. We even had one educator. We had a member that just signed up not too long ago that said we, there's a there's actually an educator that says, hey, if you make a tick a day, I mean, crazy stuff. There's so much junk out there. We trade for massive points here with low risk. 2085.50 was a high retest as low as 20.82. Three and a half point trade on the S&P. Pre-news also right away this morning, and the S&P is not even very active this morning yet. 